got no show for y'all. Got a damn good show. So everybody knows DeSantis is doing an outstanding job in Florida. Yeah, I really like that man. He's a damn good man. In fact, he's a very shrewd and astute politician. Yeah, I think he might even be the best ever. <laughs> now, don't kill me now. I know well, there's some faithful Trump supporters. You got to admit that yeah. damn DeSantis, man. That damn Ron Sanctimonious, <laughs> that man is the shit. You know what? You know what I found about Republicans? Everybody's praising this dude during COVID, the things he's doing down in Florida. Yeah. As soon as his name came up, ready for president. Oh, he's a, he's a Soros. <laughs> uh, Soros supports him. He's he, a rhino. Yeah, he's a rhino. What he's deep that? state. Yeah, why is that? <laughs> I'm just asking a serious question. Even yeah. if so, they said Soros, Soros is backing him, right? Yeah. I said, so how is that? So, so, shut up. So how is that an indictment on DeSantis? He has virtually no control on who supports him. When Trump was running for president, who was that Klan member came out and said he was uh, voting for him? Yeah, yeah. And then all the left was coming to look, he's got a, a, a KKK member voting for him, and we defended him, rightfully so. Yeah, Trump because, has no uh, 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 discretion in who votes for him or who, who doesn't vote. Yeah, Just yeah. like DeSantis doesn't have any discretion over who supports him. Yeah. That's all deep. I'm saying is, be better than that. If you don't like DeSantis, make a valid argument. Don't make up bullshit. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Hell, I think I'm going to run for governor. Yeah, you crazy as hell. You ain't got that Trump money to pay off these people off. You made fool you threw out the car about <laughs> around 25. Yeah, y'all think Trump got skeletons. No, nah, I got skeletons. <laughs> yeah, the, the only thing they got on Trump is maybe some money paid off that horse face lady. <laughs> That's nothing compared to us. <laughs> hey, but anyway. I got bodies in my closet. <laughs> no, you ain't got bodies <laughs> stacked on top of bodies. Stop. No, Kevin's embellishing. He's, he's full of shit. Yeah, don't believe it. I was just joking. Yeah, he was just exaggerating. But anyway, so, um, y'all, we've all heard about the leg, uh, the legislation that just passed in Florida. You know, keeping uh, trans kids not, keeping that from being a thing in that state. Yeah. Wait till you're 18. Rightfully so, man. Right? Kids... You shouldn't push that on kids. They're not making, let me put it to you like this. Kids are not making that decision. Their parents are. Yeah. All these people that are transgender and they're pushing this on kids, they, they didn't make the decision until they was in the early 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. But yeah. now they're trying to push this on six, seven, eight, nine, ten year olds. Two, pre three years old. Pre-pubescent kids. That's sick and disgusting. Yeah. I mean, a little kid can't go into the doctor's office. Hey, I want to be a wild man now. Yay. <laughs> Man, that was creepy as hell. You like a damn groomer when you was doing that. <laughs> so these people, okay, so I think this is some kind of city hall or something where the uh, citizens of Florida are coming out to stand up against DeSantis. Don't let me guess. I haven't seen the video yet, but let me just take a wild guess. It's a bunch of women, right? Yeah. I would, How did I know that? I would take it a step further. How do I know a that? bunch of blue, green, and purple-haired weirdos to me. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, I read up on Socrates, man. He was a sole believer that everybody shouldn't be able to vote in a free society. You have to, uh, you have to prove yourself. You have to be, you have to have the capacity to vote. Yeah. I'm a sole believer that some of these people should not be voting in our society because they are a detriment to society, yeah. to society themselves and everybody around them. They are ruining our country. If you don't have the capacity to think on a rational and logic level, you shouldn't be able to vote. And that doesn't make me a fascist or anything like that. It, it makes me have common sense. We need to take the rights away from these damn women. Yeah, I agree with all that, but you finna get us banned, motherfucker. What's wrong with you? What? I'm just sharing the philosophy of an old gay white dude. Sorry. He was a member of the LGBT community. Wouldn't it be amazing if the whole LGBTQ had the uh, mindset and the capacity of Socrates? Man, this would be a beautiful place. This would be a beautiful place. <laughs> it'd be a beautiful place. Everybody be gay, but it'd be beautiful. <laughs> hey, check out this video. I was once a trans youth, and now I'm a happy 22 year old trans adult student at New College of Florida. This is my health care. Ma'am, okay. Don't tread on it. Senator Yarbrough what has militarized what the, the Florida GOP. <laughs> oh, you were stupid. Bitch. What the hell was that? She used to don't trade on me. You know, us Republicans, us conservatives, we say don't trade on my rights. Yeah. The Second yeah. Amendment. 
She took First out a amendment. vaccine needle and said, don't tread on me. Who's trying to take away your rights to have a vaccine? Who? Name one person, you stupid bitch. Now, I would say she does not have the capacity to. Yeah, uh, she shouldn't be the vote. She's totally biased. She's let her personal feelings and opinions dictate how she thinks. She is the most dangerous. Someone who thinks like it's the most dangerous person on this planet. They say that January 6th was a danger to our democracy. No, people like this is a danger to our democracy. It's a danger to each and every one of our, 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 yeah. our freedoms. Seriously. That's a capacity thing right there. That's not an ignorance thing. That's capacity. Well, she's she's not dumb. It's just that she let her biases take over her rational thought. That's all. Which makes you stupid. Thank you for proving my point. Keep, keep rolling. Jim. Thank you. Senator Yarbrough has militarized the Florida GOP into the genital Gestapo. Ron DeSantis wants trans people dead. You are committing genocide. What the fuck? Pause what? Pause what? Pause Wait a minute. You mean tell me DeSantis rounding up gay people and putting them in concentration camps? <laughs> Did you call Ron DeSantis the, the, the Gestapo? The Telia? Calm down. Genitalia. He's pimping suck at these people. <laughs> What you call that down there? Genitalia. Genitalia. The Gestapo. genitalia Gestapo. <laughs> I would call the the. the, the Calm down, our anxiety is kicking in. <laughs> I would call the. the, the what did she say? I would call the genitalia Gestapo the people who's taking kids, two, three, four years old. Yeah. Prepubescent kids, giving them drugs, chopping tits off, and giving them drugs, and y'all were doing this to minors. You should be calling yourselves that because they're not making that decision. Their parents are. Another capacity thing, right? And I might add another woman. Y'all know women didn't uh, couldn't couldn't vote before. You know why, don't you? That's why. Yeah. They think with their hearts. They don't think with their brains. Uh, now, I'm not saying all women the... are like that. I'm just saying liberal women are like that. Well, uh, I'm going to leave that one alone. Keep, keep, keep this show rolling. I've heard from the Nazis, and what you people are doing is yeah. no different. This is transphobic, it is cruel, and you really should be ashamed. Man, start over. Uh, what the hell she say, Nazis? Just start over. Why are you to... wearing that mask? Genocide. I grew up in Germany in the aftermath of the Nazis, and what you people are doing is no different. This what? is transphobic, it is cruel, and you really should be ashamed. <laughs> you were doing my <laughs> We're doing what the Nazis are doing. You know what the Nazis did, right? Yeah, tell me. Do you know what the Nazis did? She said she grew up in drum Germany and she experienced what happened. You need to How? go back, Al. You need How? to go back where you came from. Wait a minute, when did that happen? World War II. That was a long time ago. Was she even alive? <laughs> well, she looked pretty old. She might have been a baby or something. No, she, 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 no, that, that, no, see, I'm sure my, wasn't born. I'm sure my ignorance here. I don't know exactly when that happened. It was a long time ago. When, when was that? Who gives a shit? No. 1933. It was okay. The, the thirties, which makes her a hundred years. <laughs> that makes her a hundred years. You're the best looking hundred year old bitch I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. <laughs> what? So you, let me let me. You think transforming is stopping kids from taking drugs to prevent them from getting puberty? Go prevent them. Puberty. Shut up. Prevent them from chopping tits and cocks off. That's transphobic to you. For transphobic has nothing to do with your genitalia. It's all up here. I just had an epiphany. No, did you hear what I said? I just said some epic shit, and it, I heard it. But I just had an epiphany. This is the end of times. End of days is coming. It's right around the corner. Yeah, end they, of time. They've been saying that the shit. The end of the world is coming. Kevin, they've been saying that shit for decades. He still ain't here. No, I ain't talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the devil. <laughs> <laughs> See, God, he gonna take his sweet time. Because <laughs> we deserve everything to happen now. <laughs> Hey, I think it's, it's, it's these people are delusional, man. Yeah, and um, and it's a capacity thing. If you that, if you that, be nice. Okay, show some, show some compassion. Some show some, so show some empathy. 
Show some sympathy for their stupidity. Oh, man, these people affect my life. Screw them. Yeah, fuck them. Let's go to the next video. What you are doing by signing this bill is an act of war. The way it is as it is now, Take your mask off. my people will die. And that blood, if you support this bill, will be on your hands. What the hell I'm did he just say? I'm not buying Pause it. Did he say people's going to die if you prevent kids from getting trans surgeries? He said blood is going to be on y'all's hands. The only blood on anybody is these, when these doctors go in there and they mutilating these kids. That's that's all. That's the only time blood is spilled, bro. Nice mascara, by the way. Tell me you crazy without telling me you crazy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look at it this way, everybody. I, I don't have nothing against liberals, but these people are not liberal. Not even a little bit. These yeah. people are. They're not even progressive. I don't even think they're progressive. These people are. They yeah. need their own little island, man. Uh, they're like Marxist communists, actually. All yeah, them. yeah. If you don't agree with them, they come out and call you a bunch of names, attack you. They don't want to address the argument or make an argument. They just call you names. And you know what? This whole affirmative surgeries, right? When you go go get this, um, what I was about to say was having kids go get these surgeries, even though he's probably not gonna ever get a surgery or anything like it. It in a in a in a way in his mind it affirms affirms him too. But having of uh, having just having people have access to this kind of medical care, yeah, I wouldn't call it medical. I call it Doctor Frankensteinism shit. But this yeah. in a way in his mindset. Yeah. The way he sees the world, his worldview, this affirms who he is as well. Yeah. Even if you just sit back and entertain what he's saying, you're yeah. legitimizing him. You're making him yeah. satisfactory, uh, you know, acceptable. Yeah. I think we got some more. Um, got some more shit. Some more crazy stuff, huh? Yeah, we got some more uh, lack of capacity, people. <laughs> 12 years old, I'm non-binary. Non-binary. If you pass this bill, many of us will die. I deserve to live as long as all of you. We are humans too. When I was two, no, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nobody said you ain't human. Who said y'all ain't human? So you mean to tell me if we stop you from chopping your mushroom tip off or your or your titties before you're the age of eighteen, you will die? I mean, is these sores and they tumors say, on you, bitch? No, nah, they saying um she commit suicide if she can't chop that um chop it off because they can't honestly they can't stand looking at that stuff. Yeah, huh? They rather have um just a big ass hole right there and a bunch of skin scabbed up and okay, I get it. That non binary stuff, man, that is out there. I, I'm a so I don't have anything against trans people. If you want to be a, a opposite sex, fine. Yeah. yeah no you want to be called she, he, opposite sex, it's fine. But that non binary stuff, that stuff is out there. You're not a he or she. No, but if you legitimize that he, she stuff, that pronouns. Yeah. Just a slippery slope to all this other crazy. You can't do that. Well, you can. No, you can't. You got to you gotta draw that line. Say, look, draw that damn line. Yeah. These people rather look like a damn real-life Barbie and Ken doll. No, you take the clothes off. We all did it when we was kids. Took them off, nothing. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's the only non-binary thing that ever existed on this planet was some damn Barbie and Ken dolls. <laughs> why, would, why wouldn't you want to be a he or a she, though? You know, and sex is such a huge release for me. It takes away stress. Yeah. How do you bust nuts when you chop your damn shaft off? How do you? Like you, this. Just rub it. I think. I don't know. How you going to? No, the head is where all the sensitivity is. You chop that off. No, they keep the head. They keep the head. And they turn into a little clitoris. And you just. A little clitoris. That's a huge clitoris. A damn head. You're like a knot right there. <laughs> But I don't think it's gonna um I don't think it's gonna work I don't think it's gonna work correctly anymore if you try to mutilate and turn it into a clitoris. The bust for I guess they have to bust from the anus. <laughs> I I need anus stimulation. A um to get a full release. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, everybody's like that. Everybody sex is such it it's like exercise. It takes the stress out of your life. Yeah, man, if I don't get sex, man, I, I I start to get bitter, man. I get angry. Could you imagine? I go with outside and say, why am I so damn mad? You chopped it off. You can't, you can't release. Now I got to go to the bathroom and squeeze one off. Oh, shit, I chopped it off. <laughs>
Crazy as hell. All right, uh, let's go ahead and watch some. That's some more of this, man. Yeah. Man. I was two. I wanted to kill myself. By the time I was 15, Wait I attempted a minute. to slice Stop it right breast. there. You was two years old and you wanted to kill yourself? At two years old? I've never heard of that before in my entire life. Why at the... How did you want to kill yourself? What you want to do? Drown yourself from your bottle? Well, you want to smother yourself to death with your diaper? I don't think kids at the age of two have the capacity to commit suicide. You don't even know what suicide, death, life. You don't even know your ABCs, your one, two, threes. You don't even know what your PPV is. But you you all you already knew what suicide was. At two years look, old. Two years old walking. Goo goo ga ga. Don't even know what death is, man. You don't you have to have. You a, don't have an understanding or capacity of what death is at that age. At two years old, you want to kill yourself. Your argument is just disingenuous. So it's your <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's argument was disingenuous. It's not sincere. It's just full of sensationalized. They, they, they sensationalize. They concoct, make up stories to fit their narrative. Everything they say is a fabrication. Every last thing. Well, literally, your life is a fabrication. <laughs> yeah. Non-binary. Right, let's, let's, let's go and let them finish. Man, I'm tired of these people. Two, I wanted to kill myself. By the time I was 15, I attempted to slice my own breasts off. I went to the ER because I was bleeding out. I'd also like to implore you all to remember Crazy. that less than a week ago, gun, laws were, uh, gun law restrictions were loosened. And anyone who thinks it's a good idea to come and take my child... I dare you. Every time that I look at, at you guys in this committee, I realize more and more that you guys want to commit trans genocide and that our blood is on your hands. I am the parent of a transgender child who is almost eight years old. And we are eight years old. And I wonder what she learned it from. She learned it from you. You taught your child that. A child doesn't have the capacity to know don't, what transgender, male, female, uh, none of that. They didn't, it's not taught. That's trained. Yeah. Trained, you could you conditioned your child. That's the word of the day, kids. Condition, trained, you trained that kid. With you and your buzz cut, I see you coming from a mile away. Yeah, everybody know you non-binary and you taught that garbage to your child. I wouldn't wish that. I mean, I don't know what you people are going through, but why would you put that on your child? He has nothing to do with your lifestyle or, she, or your know. beliefs or whatever the child is. Why are you putting that curse on your kids? Because that is a curse. Yeah. They're never going to be able to grow up and really truly love themselves because they've been conditioned by their parents to hate themselves yeah. and think like them. Yeah, some people don't deserve to have kids. Some people don't deserve to be able to adopt kids because they put this garbage in there in those kids' minds. We, yeah, we, yeah, it's a good thing that you adopt kids and you want to bring them into your life, but then you put this curse on them and, and indoctrinate them into this foolishness. No, that nobody really even cares about but you. You could be non-burner. You can do all that. You don't even have to chop nothing off. You can just change up your diet. Like if you are, um, change a, up your, uh, your, your clothes. Like you a guy, right? And you want to live your life as a girl? Could go to a vegetarian diet. Could take down your protein. Do a lot of cardio. You lose all kind of muscle, and you you feminize your body. Cause yeah. I went vegetarian for a while, and it had a very feminizing effect on my body. Yeah. Right. You can do that. You can get dressed. You can cut your hair. You yeah. can. You do I mean, all these things. You wear all this your one makeup. dude said he wanted to chop his his breast off at it with twelve, and you non-binary parents out there, what? Why? Why aren't you coming from the standpoint? The point of view is to teach your kids to do better and be better than you are. You bring your kids down to your level and beneath you. Yeah. Oh well, that's just my two cents. Maybe I am just homophobic and white supremacist. Maybe it's us we don't have the capacity to understand. Maybe we're the dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, maybe in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> That's a damn good show. For more damn good shows, click one of these videos. I got short videos. I got long videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Don't forget to sign up to our email list. And then in our... Uh, Jeep giveaway. It's almost over. Just go to our website, buy anything you want, and it'll win the day. Yeah.